if I tell you, give me a thousand euros and I'll return them a hundred thousand tomorrow as riba, you said, I will never ever dream of consuming uh, uh, one single euro of, of riba. You're crazy. But if I tell you to lower your gaze, you say, oh, this is the most difficult thing in, in life. So Allah tests every person, every individual, according what, to what is most difficult for him. For you, this is a difficult task. And this is how shaitan works. Satan is not in a rush. He's willing to wait a month, a year. He's willing to wait five years until you are marinated and ready to be served. So he takes you bit by bit in fighting your Islamic beliefs that calls you to lower your gaze. So you lower them nine out of 10. A few weeks later, eight out of 10. A few months later, three out of 10. Next year, you don't lower your gaze at all. And you justify this by saying, I'm not being affected by anything. This is normal. Everybody's looking. No one is raping anyone or jumping on other women. And this is what shaitan is doing step by step. Then he takes you further to communicating, to socializing, to cracking jokes, to leaving an impression on the opposite gender. Then maybe shaking hands, touching, maybe going for dinner, going for a cup of coffee, dating, and then you know what happens. My place or yours. This is how shaitan works. So, Akhi, if you want to sell, save yourself, if you want to protect yourself, you have to maintain the borders that Allah Azza wa told you not to cross. Keep a red line that you can never cross. And always lower your gaze because this is for your own protection. Increase your iman by increasing the amount of the Quran you recite every day, listening to Islamic lectures, attending Islamic le lectures. And this is very important because the more you are with the Muslim community, the stronger you are. And this is why in the West, they're trying to reduce Islamic circles, lectures. They tr prevent scholars and da'is from coming to the country because they can see the result. But Alhamdulillah, we have YouTube. Alhamdulillah, we have websites that you can be with the Sheikh in his lecture, in his conference, in his convention, as if you're there physically. So you have to increase the quota of watching such programs. And also, you have to build your own circle. You must surround yourself 24 hours, seven days a week with righteous practicing brothers who are knowledgeable, you hang out with, you go play sports with, you go to the gym with, you um, just sit and, 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 and socialize with as much as possible per day, you will learn from their moral ethics, from their behaviors, from their adab. You will learn from their knowledge of Quran, the Sunnah, because every word they speak, there's benefit in it for you. And this increases your Iman and Taqwa. So when you are among people who most of the day, when they want to thank you, they say, Jazakallahu khayran, Jazakallahu khayran, Jazakallahu khayran. A couple of days down the line, you yourself going to end up saying Jazakumullahu khayran to ever, uh, uh, anyone who does you a favor because you tend to catch up. As sins are contagious, Likewise, good deeds are contagious. So if you hang up out with people who use the F word or the S word or the whatever word you want, inevitably you're gonna use this all the time. But if you hang out with people who say, Alhamdulillah, SubhanAllah, La ilaha illallah, and they quote verses of the Quran, hadiths of the Prophet you'll inevitably be part of that. And inshallah, this would save you from what you fear most.